Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's she. I'm back today with another video. So today guys, I'm gonna be doing a booth tour and I figured I better do it today because, Lord, isn't that much better? I figured I better do it today because someone is actually on their way here to pick up that mirror and this desk. So at that point, my booth will be empty. So I wanted to show you guys what the booth looks like currently so let's go ahead and get started if you guys want to see more booth tours and you want to see more of what i'm buying every week make sure you go ahead and subscribe i am located at 2645 dean drive in virginia beach virginia at the barrett street antique mall so if you are local watching this video come check me out i have new stuff coming like every week So guys, this is my booth and this time around I did not, I really didn't come up with a theme. I kind of just let the booth evolve as I go every week. So in the background on the wall, you see like brown paper and I got that brown paper from Home Depot and it's just literally stapled to the wall. And then I use like a spray adhesive glue to glue on the music note pages and I just bought a songbook from the thrift store. I just wanted it to really look vintagey and old. So outside of my booth, I have some art and Christmas stuff and next year I will not be buying Christmas stuff because it just didn't sell and now I'm stuck with it. I'm almost tempted to re-donate re it back to the thrift store. So over here guys, I have this super cute pink mirror. I paid $12 for it and I painted it with fusion mineral paint in the color Enchanted and China. I think I have $100 on it right now, but I'm going to mark it down to 80 soon. Over here um, is a chair. I had it sitting in my shed forever. I painted it in the same color and added this really pretty fabric. I had another chair that sold in the same color, so I said, you know what, why not? <laughs> Guys, I have this huge Cecil rug I got for $30 and then over top of it I just laid my grassy rug that I had in my backyard this summer and this green grassy rug definitely makes it nice and bright and fresh. Over here I have my collection of vintage clothing and also not so vintage clothing. <laughs> I have these beautiful shoes from Zara like who would not want to have bling on their toes. And then I also even have this cute little red table, which was already painted. I picked it up at the thrift store for like $4. I have this gorgeous vintage sweater. And it's in really nice condition. I have $40 on it. It's made from Angora Rabbit and Wool, guys. So the materials on it is just really beautiful. I also found this vintage jacket. It has real fur on the collar. And then guys, I've been doing really well with vintage clothing online. This has the um, International Women's Garment Label Union on it. So I believe it was in the 1950s it was made. So I need to get that photographed and list it. And the cool thing is that it was actually made in Norfolk, Virginia, which is where I am from. So for $50, this was truly a steal. Another one of my favorite pieces is this Cynthia Steffi uh, fox fur sweater. It's made of East Coast and real fox fur. I have $39 on it. It's just so pretty. Then also, this is a new favorite of mine. It's 100% silk made by Newport News. So over here, guys, I just have some of my furniture. This dresser has been with me for the past couple months. It just was sitting in storage, so I decided to bring it here. And then this frame, my neighbor actually put a mirror on the side of the road, and the mirror was horrible, so I broke the mirror out, and now I'm just selling the frame. I believe I have like $75 on it. Yeah, $75, so really good price. The right buyer will love it also found these vintage suitcases at the thrift store they were five bucks each so in the booth i try to have things that interest both men and women 
So this dresser, it took me forever to complete, but it is absolutely show-stopping and gorgeous. All of those flowers are handmade by me. So this little gray nightstand, I did not paint it. I purchased it on Marketplace for $40, but it's still sitting. So I'm thinking about painting the knobs and then adding some flowers just to get it sold a little faster. I think it's the color and the style, but it's solid wood, very nicely made. So I think that little makeover will do the trick. These little piggy canisters were a must-have when I saw them in the thrift store. I believe I put $28 on them as a set. I paid $2.25 each, but they're so cute, especially how they open in the back with their little curly tails. And I just love that little sagey green pattern all over. This mirror, guys, I got for $10. It had ugly black polka dots on it, but I went ahead and just painted over them. But that mirror will look absolutely gorgeous over a mantle or a hall table. I think I have $100 listed on it. So this bookshelf was like my favorite find last week. I have been looking for a corner shelf because I wanted a way to just organize all of my smalls. And with Christmas being on Friday, I'll have to come in next week and remove all the Christmas stuff. And I, again, I think I'm just going to donate it all. But this shelf I got for $25. I couldn't believe it. So another mirror that I love, guys, is this gold one in the back. I'm going to be taking it home soon and giving it a fresh coat of gold paint. Because I think the reason why it's not selling is because of the gold finish on it. It's just like it's a little bit too antique and I like some glam. I got it for $18 at my local Goodwill. So in the next couple weeks, I will be doing something with that ugly pegboard over there. I think it's really just important to create an environment that is pretty. And I'm thinking about actually putting up more brown paper on those walls and painting it a light pink. Also guys, my booth currently doesn't have a name, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to name it. Leave some suggestions in the comments down below. Like I know I didn't even really tell you guys that I was getting a booth again. I just kind of did it. The lady from the antique mall called me and was like, hey, guess what? I have a space available. So I went ahead and took it. But anyway, guys, I have to go because if my client's here somewhere, I have to find her so that we can go ahead and get her desk rung up in her mirror. But if you guys like my booth, my new booth, um, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below which item was your favorite. And I will see you guys in the next video.